and their basketball season starts on Monday, if not sooner. Right from the get go. Tim Becker and the Red Hawk DBs have a tough task stopping Tim Williams in the Homewood Flossmore offense. Central running back Matt Randolph hoping to continue his strong playoff run. On the opening kick, it's the backup running back making noise. Anthony Crescenti tries his hand at the squib kick, and Nick Thomas and 10 of his buddies have a plan for that. Plenty of blocking downfield to the tune of a 75-yard return for a touchdown. Red Hawks on the board immediately. Vikings would tie it up on their next possession. Central has it back now, threatening on third down, but QB Ian Lewandowski brought down in the backfield by Michael Aniwu. Red Hawks forced to punt. Andrew Askin enters stage right and has a knack for that coffin corner thing. The pigskin takes a Red Hawk bounce. Pat Clark downs it at the one. Three plays later, Vikings still pinned deep. On the draw, Williams stripped by Zach Borda. Red Hawks recover. They would punch it in two plays later to go up 14-7. On the next HF drive, more problems for the Vikings. Williams scrambles out of trouble, but he can't find Gerald Butler. Jimmy Nasher doing his job as the deepest man on the field. One of two picks on the night for him. Central takes over. From there, the game plan simple, give it to Randolph. On first down from the 30, the senior streaks right for 20 yards, first down. On the next play on the other side of the field, Randolph finishes what he started. You can't take him down, 21-7 Central. On the ensuing series for the Vikings, more turnover problems. John Dulick, right place, right time. The senior backer would return the pick 24 yards to the one. Ian Lewandowski would score to make it 28-7 Red Hawks. On the next possession, it's Lewandowski going to the air. On third down, he scrambles out of trouble to find Blake Butler. Where is the defense? It's smooth sailing from there for 65 yards to the end zone. Central led 35-7 at the half. Now 35-14, Lewandowski can beat you in a couple of different ways. On the speed option right, he's got the blocks and makes the most of them. 61 yards on this run. He had 94 on the ground, 128 through the air. Later in the drive, he uses his legs again on the option from four yards out. Central moves on to the semifinals for the first time since 2001. The coaches stressed to us all week, the defensive backs, pass first, pass first. That's what we were looking for. We just looked at the quarterback's eyes, read them, had zone eyes, and uh, broke on the ball and made plays. And that's basically what it came down to this week. And our D-line did a great job of getting to the quarterback and stopping the run when they had to. And it just all worked out well together. Our O-line is, I think, the best in the state. There's no doubt. I mean, the, the holes they're opening up were crazy. Uh, Colin Walsh, Nick Feliciano, Mevin Kowski, Mike Keller, Sean Goldner, all those guys. You know, Jeb Deciani, our tight end, all those guys throwing blocks downfield. You know, if you look back at the film, there was some of our offensive line like 10 yards downfield throwing blocks. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all, all credit to them. We definitely were a little intimidated by their offense, considering they got a primarily passing offense and we got a running defense. And, uh, yeah, we just knew we just had hit number one and hit him hard because we saw him on film. He just avoids contact, slides to the ground. We just had to hit him, and we knew he turned it over. You know, our offense, we like to get on the board early, and when we do that, kind of gives us momentum, and it gets our defense into the game a lot better. And uh, when our defense gets us turnovers, you know, they're giving us great field position. Uh, it's giving us uh, the option to run a bunch of different types of plays, you know, pass, run, uh, everything, so the defense doesn't really know what's coming at them.